So if you've ever been curious about Mike Scheidt's guitar techniques, his hybrid picking, his big open chords, I know you're going to want to stick around for today's lesson because I'm going to be covering A Blaze by Yob, and we're starting right now. What's up everyone, Steve Reese here again from Does It Doom, the YouTube channel where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner, doom, sludge, and drone metal genres. So if that is your thing, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell for more weekly doom content. So without question, one of the most heavily requested song lessons I get here on the channel is of course a blaze. And it's no surprise, Mike's technique and approach to guitar is very unorthodox and extremely unique. And so I'm really excited to be doing it here today. I'm gonna to be using this Epiphone SG Pro 1961 reissue. It's an A standard tuning with a set of 13 to 65 strings. We're gonna be playing through a Black Arts Toneworks Raw Heart Overdrive, the Mike Scheidt signature pedal, running into a green Madamp GT120. So in today's lesson, we're gonna cover roughly the first minute and a half of the song, but if you wanna check out the transcription for those riffs and the entire song, you can head on over to patreon.com slash does it doom, support the channel there and gain access to guitar and bass lesson tabs for every single song lesson here on the channel. If you'd like to see some more Yob tutorials here on the channel, you can drop the name of the song you'd like to see down below the video in the comments. And with that, you can get your shit tuned down to A standard, we're gonna zoom in, do a quick demo, then we're gonna come back and break it down riff by riff. Alright guys, so as I mentioned in the introduction, my guitar is in A standard tuning, a blaze is in A minor. We're going to cover roughly the first minute and a half or so of the song, which includes that big intro riff, followed by the first pass through of the hybrid picked verse sections. The first riff in the song goes like this. So first we've got this massive open chord, extremely unorthodox, not anything I've ever seen before. My pinky is on the eighth fret on the first string and my index finger is on the third fret on the fifth string and I am muting the fourth string and I'm not playing the sixth string. And that chord goes like this. The rest of the strings are all open so.
basically as far as I can stretch on a guitar. So the second chord here, again, just extremely unorthodox. Uh, this time I'm not playing the sixth string, but I am playing the fifth string open. I've got the fourth string fretted at the seventh fret. I'm muting the third string. The second string is open. And I've got the eighth fret still fretted. Then you're going to take that whole chord, slide it down one fret, and move your index finger up to the fifth string with a bunch of vibrato. And so now I'm muting this fourth string, and these three are allowed to ring. So open third, open second, first string is fretted at the seventh fret. You slide it up one fret, same shape. So. So for that one, I've still got the fourth string muted, fretting the seventh fret on the fifth string, and I've moved down to the seventh fret on the first string. Second string is open, third string is open. The first time I hit it, I'm kind of just on the bottom of these top three strings. Hit the fourth chord, so. is basically all the open strings except you're fretting the third fret on the sixth string. And back to the intro chord. So all together. Again. So slightly different. Slightly different, but the same chord. Now, slightly different chords here. I've got the sixth string fretted on the third fret. I've got the first string fretted on the seventh fret. And I'm hitting everything except for that fifth string is muted.
see I'm doing that kind of up sweep where I'm hitting all the strings just open. That's the chord where I'm not hitting the sixth, I am hitting the fifth open. We've got the seventh fretted on seventh fret on the fourth string, eighth fret on the first string. And I've got this third string muted. So from the top. So the next part is a repeat with some slight variation, and it goes. So you can see the first time around we went. This time we're going. So the second half of that intro riff all together. One last time, that full intro riff from the top. There we have the hybrid picked section. Really, really cool stuff. This is the part of the song that took me the longest to learn. 
So right now I've got the open sixth string, my index finger on the seventh fret fifth string, I'm muting the fourth string, I've got the third string open, the second string open, and the first string fretted at the eighth fret. That is the easiest part to learn. If you're gonna start learning this hybrid pick section, I would recommend really practicing this first and then getting into the more difficult stuff. So. You don't really have to even hit the sixth string. It's so again, using my middle finger for the hybrid picking, hitting the chord, hitting the fifth string, Then the next portion goes like this. So once again. Again. In the demo portion, I played that first part twice, and then I played this. So now, again, one more time through the entire hybrid pick section.
right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you did, please remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and share this video on your social media. Also remember to drop a request for your favorite Yob song, a song you might like to see in the very next Yob tutorial down below this video. And of course, I wanna send out a giant thank you to everyone who supports the channel over on Patreon with a very special thanks to all of our Rift Lord tier producers shown here. So for more videos just like this, you can click either of the YouTube cards shown here on the screen. Of course, to subscribe to the channel, you can click that round subscribe icon. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend.